My friends, I hope you're doing fantastic. Here in Europe, the summer has finally arrived. Considering what's happening and been happening for the last month, the summer has been delayed. Seems like maybe it has arrived, but you know, this content and why you're here is to make yourself better, to improve yourself, to learn something. Perhaps it's about business, perhaps it's about marketing, sometimes it's about networking. Often it is about personal development and self-leadership leadership organization leadership because i see these topics as super relevant for all of us to better ourselves but especially to better this world and improve the well-being of our organizations and people out there so today i come at you with this little video that i have seen this week and i reposted it father and son they are walking over the bridge and there are little ropes so it seems like there has been some accident. The bridge has been just closed for a while, but the ropes are still there. There is no obvious damage. So the father cr crosses the ropes without a kid. And the little toddler is standing behind the ropes and tries to cross the ropes as well. So the father awaits, you know, in a little distance. And the toddler crosses one rope, crosses the second, and then gets stuck and looking what to do. So the father comes back, picks the kid up, puts it back behind the ropes and again waits what the kid will do. The kid looks at the situation again, picks the rope over the head, second, third, fourth. Believe it or not, the kid is on the other side of running towards the head. So I reposted this and I reposted it with a reason, right? Because I come from humble beginning, you know, nothing was given to me. I grew up on a farm, wake up early, feed the cattle. And I learned a lot about discipline. I learned a lot about resilience and you know, hard work. And, you know, my dad was generally quite tough on us too, because he wanted that we build character. And, you know, believe it or not, there was a lot of love for this video, but there was also some hate. You know, there was a particular gentleman who commented and said how people and this dad actually is using it to put it on social media it's on gains and place. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's seen the video before, but my general reaction it would be perhaps it might be like you suggest but most likely it is to teach a lesson and i feel especially in today's time in social media many people focus so much on the nitty-gritty and the tactics and that people actually make it all about themselves rather than really focusing on wisdom and maybe because it's my nature, I look for wisdom. So I look for, even if it's a video that maybe I wouldn't post or wouldn't share, I always try to learn something from that. And that also shows a little bit the times we live in, right? Because here in Western Europe, the times are good. On one side, people are super comfortable, good salaries, good, you know, you can fill up your fridge. There is no war. Um, unlike, you know, when you live in Ukraine or when you live somewhere in Syria or Middle East, it's tough. And we don't always talk about it, but it's still prevailing in these parts of the world. And on the other side, there is also a little bit tough, you know, economical situation because a lot of companies in the automotive space, especially now, laying off thousands and thousands of people because, you know, over the years we've become, became rich, we grew, and you know revenue was good margins were good but now we obviously don't grow in the same rate and suddenly they have a lot of overhead a lot of people on their payroll which is unfortunate but that's how the you know economy and the seasons work and you know why i'm putting this content out there one reason is to pay it forward because i know there are many people like myself who will watch this later <laughs> and maybe months and years to come and say look at you you have improved Look how you were talking back then and how you talk now. So even, you know, if you don't see this, I see it for myself and I want you to really pay attention to videos like this. Even if it seems boring and you want to watch Netflix, perhaps just pick up the video, watch it for a couple of minutes, get inspired. Remember what really makes us human is those dear connections we create with others. That's also why I'm so obsessed with when you would meet me to introduce you connect you and I try to build different groups simultaneously and add people into programs 
create different you know, social media accounts to pay it forward to inspire people. And I see it as my mission, you know, when I ask myself on my deathbed, what have I left behind? Nobody will care about the social media accounts. Nobody will care probably about the programs. What will people care about is how I made them feel. And this is something that I learned. And, you know, when you follow me on, you know, different social media, you will see I talk a lot about leadership, energy, resilience, uh, mind, mindset, and really improving, you know, yourself holistically. Just because I see this is a catalyst to bring into your business life and be an awesome leader, build an awesome team and lead your organization in the right way and with the right pace and right skills. But at the same time, you need to double down on your skills, you need to double down on building yourself up so that you can at the right time grab the opportunities and become, you know, the leader you aspire to be. And, you know, I feel as well, especially in these times, many people are a bit stressed out because they haven't invested and they are not depositing while this is happening on one side, the comfort is, you know, putting them back. They spend too much on social media. And on the other side, this disturbance in economy and, you know, focusing on the wrong things, reading, you know, negative media, uh, spending time with wrong friends, they forget to invest in their career. They forget to invest in themselves when the opportunity presents themselves and they are laid off or, you know, they, the company, uh, their own company didn't pivot enough to see what's happening in the market. And again, you know, I don't preach here anything that I'm the smartest guy in the room, but I know that you need to prepare and for that you need to reflect. So it might seem like a video about everything, but that's also a reason for it. Because I believe that in life, we need to prepare. We need to be like that kid, like the father who taught the kid to overcome, to persevere, to go for it when the times are tough, but when the times are good. It doesn't have to be, you know, sometimes you reward people, you praise them, you know, in public and criticize them in public, like uh, private, but you always try to teach lessons. And, you know, just like my dad taught me very crucial lessons, which sometimes hurt it. And, you know, I had to go through my own journey to realize it was for my own good, but that's because I turned it into a weapon. And I want you to start thinking like that in your life, in your career, in your relationships like that. So. The things are improving for you, but you it, they will improve to that. Except whether you don't improve, right? Whether you don't invest. And it, it will improve when you decide to invest, when you decide to make yourself better. But it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen in one year, perhaps. It happens in a couple of years. It's about running a marathon and putting yourself out there, doing the good, taking yourself, you know, less seriously, sometimes mumbling, just like me in a video, trying to find the right words. And it's okay, because you know that you will watch this down the line and you have improved. You make yourself and other people better. So today, I wanna challenge you. Think back to the video. Even if you haven't seen it, you get it. You and me and we should be like kids who never give up, never surrender. Too many people are focused on the wrong things, not really depositing in themselves, depositing in their future, but not you. You're the person who focuses on the right things and tries to make yourself and others around you better. Because when you try to make, and when you make others around you better, your life will improve. Again, that comes with Stopping to and pausing for a second and thinking, am I striving by myself or am I striving with others? If this for you, I'll invite you to join me. I built different groups and groups and programs which will remind you who you are, which will fix your wellness, which will fix your health, energy, resilience, and make you better leader. At the same time, it's really about a daily decision and consistency. Right? You can study all the programs, but if you're not consistent enough, things will not happen to you. But again, remember, it's the way of the turtle. Go slow to sail smoothly and with time and enough energy and resources, you will get where you want to go. So again, remember, 
Stay strong. And until the next time, stay legendary. Like